Okay, now that we've got all of the uh, uh, keepers in for the glass and the, all the foam installed, they come on with this two inch tape or inch, inch and a half tape right here. Peel it off. And I'm just going to cover these little uh, spots right here with the tape. As you see, I cut all these. I'm going to go all the way around except for the two on the ends on each end and we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, next thing we're going to put these tie wires on. I've loosened the screw here enough to get a wire in there. This is stainless steel or stainless wire, steel wire. We'll put it on and give it one good twist. Lock it around the head there like that. Turn it around one more time. Give it another one like this and get your pliers on it. Give it a few twists. This wire is to tie the absorber header so that it doesn't slide around inside the box. Okay, got a couple loops on there. Now that's ready to go. Okay, <clears throat> I've put something under the uh, absorber, set it down, and put it in here. Now we can see that this one here, I want these wires to come on this side of that pipe right here when I let that down then I'll tighten that up so this will be pulling this way the other side here I want to make sure I'm on the right side of this and this one right here will be pulling straight off like this right here it goes under this one will be going under here now on this side and then we'll tighten those down same thing as tightening the uh, wrench first we'll, we'll now we've got that set we know where we're at We'll pull this off and tighten these screws. Okay, next, before we tie this in, we want to take and wrap some of this insulation around this pipe right here. What I've got is that three inch pipe insulation and uh, we'll fold it in half here and wrap it around this part of the pipe right there. There's a little piece of tape right there when I get done that'll uh, keep it from moving. So much anyway, you know. Alright. Piece about 20 inches, 18, 20 inches long right there. And this is all I'm doing with that. Put it in here. And then this will stuff in. In the hole. Right there. Plugs the hole up. The other piece going across there will seal the deal. Okay, then we can tie this down. Tie the other side down. Again, I put this in, made sure the glass was clean underneath, and uh, clean on the top right here on the on the surface of that absorber plate, and then you install it, and then step another step down. Okay, now next step, we've got this in, tie it off, screws tighten back up, and the tape all in all around. We're gonna put this uh, one inch wide strip of hardy board onto here. Again, we're gonna do it with glue. Nice good bead along there. And put that on here. Now this is going right over here. Make sure you've got all this, all this tucked in so that lay right down on there. Again, this stuff, this wood glue sets pretty tight, pretty quick. Just want to put a clamp on it for a little bit. And any place else that you feel is not laying down, I'm going to put a clamp on it and go all the way around. Finish that up. A little point here, remember we recessed this back enough for the pipes and this comes flush off of here with this quarter inch is because when this foam goes on here in the back, we want it to be flush with it like it is right here. And that's why we added this extra right here is because of the pipes. Now if I'd used 3 8 inch pipes, it might have been a different story, but right at this time, you know, we got this right here. So that's why we recessed this and built this up. Uh, this stuff right here with the glue, if you're, you know, worrying about that, we're going to put our molding on top of there and screw this, screws through this all the way around so there's no problem and uh, that's going to be taken care of. 
Okay, here we go. I've cut a, a foam to fit inside the cavity here and glued some uh, aluminum to it. A little old aluminum flashing. Glued that to it. What I want to do is put this in here and cut it to where you got about a quarter of an inch on each side all border around. That'll be for caulk. And we're going to put this on right here. These are vinyl strips that I've cut and made out of this stuff that I uh, found it at, at Lowe's. It's, it's a vinyl fencing track is what it was called. Vinyl fencing track. You see the profile. What I'm doing is just cutting this right off right here. Okay, again on this, uh, this is a vinyl uh, fencing cap or track. So I'm just cutting it right there and then I get two pieces that are a little wider than than three quarter inch and uh, they have a little small bevel probably two to three degrees here but that's not really a big thing uh, for this project after you cut it you may get some uh, feathering as, as it is right here and a little bit of 100 grit sandpaper takes that right off and then you got a durable uh, trim molding for these uh, right here. All right, now this this is a corner piece that I made for this fits right over here and screw here and here. Now what I'll do is I'll fill this with caulking and and up in here slide this over it and you know, clean up. I use latex caulking because it's easy water cleanup and. Uh, this right here is back at a quarter of an inch. So what we'll do is put a bead of caulking on there, and put this down, and uh, stainless steel screws, and that is it. Now what this right here is an access for uh, for your sensor. So I won't I won't really I won't really fasten this in uh, and caulk it in until the sensor is installed. So that's the project right now. I'm going to go ahead and glue this stuff in place. Uh, or uh, caulking and uh, put some stainless steel screws in it all the way around and uh, finish it off.